good afternoon everybody i hope you are well um i'm just gonna go by um the leading of the lord hallelujah bless your name mighty jesus what an awesome and mighty god that we serve hallelujah god is good god is so good he's so good hallelujah he's so good he's so good and i'm gonna read the psalms to you um as the lord has put in my heart and it's a psalms that is very much well known and we're going to read psalms 23 and let me read it out for you the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restoreth my soul He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever let me read it again the Lord is our shepherd my shepherd your shepherd and we shall not want He maketh us to lay down in green pastures. He leads us beside the still waters. And he restores our souls. He leads us in the paths of righteousness for his sovereign sake. Hallelujah. Yea, though we do walk through the valley of the shadow of death, And what a timely thought with all this corona stuff. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for thou art with us. And we know if God is for us and with us, who can be against us? Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Thou anointest our head with oil and our cup runneth over. May our cups run over in 2021. Surely goodness. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all, not some, but all the days of our life. And in 2021, we will say, and we will continue and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. And this first that I want us to to consider I'm going to do two videos because WhatsApp doesn't allow you to just do a big 10 minute video. So I'll do two. What really stuck out to me and what the Lord was just showing me is in verse five. Thou anointest my head with oil. And I was thinking, Lord, what does that mean? So I decided to do a little bit of research on the Internet because for my understanding, the anointings, you know, we, we anoint. And it's sometimes I know at the end of the year, the beginning of the year, we have anointing service and that, and we can't do this at the moment. But God is saying that he anointed our head with oil. And I said, Lord, what, you know, what are you saying? And he led me to um, a website. And in this website, it talks about, anoint my head with oil and basically the 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 writer is saying in the olden days because remember the lord is our shepherd in the olden days the shepherd used to anoint the sheep with oil 
and the oil then was seen as a protective factor protective against what so they used to anoint the sheep with oil they used to pour oil all over the sheep and especially the head because there were certain flies and parasites that used to um, target the head of the sheep and in this it's saying that in order to protect the sheep from these parasites that would lay eggs on the sheep bite it irritate it annoy it and obviously if they laid eggs then the larva would produce and it used to torment the sheep it's to torment the sheep in their eyes their nose and their ears so the the shepherd used to anoint the sheep their eyes their ears their nose their body you know god wants to anoint you with his oil to protect you the anointing breaks the yoke and the anointing protects you this this really helped me this really blessed me um, when i was reading it and i think for 2021 not think and this is what i just felt the lord leading me to do and i'm gonna cut this short and do another video um just to explain it a bit further because this will cut it off but just remember in the old days the shepherds used to anoint the sheep with oil they used to rub the sheep with oil to protect them from the parasites that would try to torment them and it said that they used to be so tormented that they used to bang their heads against um, a wall just to relieve themselves from the torment in fact you know what? i'm going to keep on and just do it in two parts so as i was reading this and you know it just really ministered to my heart and i'm thinking we're coming to the end of 2020 and we're not sure 100 percent what's going to be happening in 2021 but one thing we can be secure of and sure of that jesus our heavenly father and art in heaven the holy spirit are the unchanging changes their promises never fail hallelujah the lord will always be our good shepherd and the promises that he said that he would do in Psalms 23 will stand forever. The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of God shall stand forever. And as I was doing that, the Lord, um, oh God, I don't know what I've done with it now. Here it is. The Lord told me to get my oil. And I picked up the oil. And I just said, Lord, anoint my head with oil. And I basically opened up the anointing oil and I touched my forehead. Hallelujah. And I prayed, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray God for 2021 that my focus, Father God, will be upon you, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father God, that you'll fill my thoughts with you, Father, in the name of Jesus, and that you will cast down every imagination, every vivid imagination, every haughty thought that tries to exalt itself, Father God, above you. I pray, God, that you'll break the powers of fear, intimidation, and anxiety of my mind and give me a sound mind, Father God, throughout 2021, regardless of what's happening, because you are a mind regulator father in the name of jesus hallelujah and then i took the oil again and i placed the oil upon my ears hallelujah lord your word says your sheep know your voice and a stranger's voice it will not follow so, Father, anoint my ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say at this time and at this season. Anoint my ears, Father God, to hear what thus saith the Lord. I anoint my ears and I pray, Father God, that you protect me from absorbing things, God, that is not of you, Father God, that the enemy may try to use to implant fear in my heart and in my mind in the name of Jesus, my God. Father, I pray that your anointing and your word will act as a filter to my ears, Father, in the blessed name of Jesus, my God and my King. Jesus, open up my spiritual ears to hear you almighty god and king lord i anoint my mouth in the name of jesus and i pray that throughout 2021 that you will bridle my tongue father in the name of jesus 
May 2021 never find me speaking any evil, any malice, any gossip, any lies against anybody, uh, anything in the name of Jesus. But I anoint my mouth for God did to say, for 2021, for our God, for my mouth to be like the pen of a ready writer to decree and declare your word and to say, thus says the Lord in the name of Jesus, to spread the good tidings, Father, in the blessed name of Jesus, God. I pray, Father God, that my words will align to your words, Father God, throughout 2021, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I anoint my nose in representation, Father God, of my senses, Father, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, God, that I will smell the sweet fragrance of your presence, Father, in the name of Jesus. And God, I also, God, touch my nose, Father God, as a representation of our senses, Father God, that we will, Father God, be attuned and tapped in, Father God, to the frequency of your spirit father in the name of jesus god lord we pray in the name of jesus my lord that discernment father god will spread abroad in our hearts and our minds and our souls father throughout 2021 father i anoint my hands father in the name of jesus because your word says or whatever my hands father god is put to that you shall prosper it father in the name of jesus I pray, Father God, that I will use my hands, Father God, in a humble way, God, and when necessary, Jesus, uh, extend my hands, Father God, in prayer. Extend my hands, Father God, in surrenderance to you throughout 2021. For nevertheless, Lord, it's not my will, Father God, but thy will be done, Father, in the blessed name of Jesus, my God and my King. I pray, Father God, for the ability to virtually touch, Father God, God lies to lay hands to heal the sick oh glorious God and King because with you all things are possible father in the name of Jesus Lord I anoint my feet in the name of Jesus that as I prepare to walk into 2021 that thy word will be a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Father, order our steps, Father God, according to your divine word, Father, in the name of Jesus, my God. Make our crooked pathway straight. Make the path plain, Father God, that we may see where we should tread and where we should walk, Father God, according to your divine will, Father God, for our will, uh, your divine will for our lives, Father in the name of jesus order our steps father god according to your word let our feet be shod with the gospel of peace father in the name of jesus my god we anoint anoint our feet god to trample the serpent father in the name of jesus my god to trample the enemy father god below us because you have called us to be the head and not the tail above and not beneath Father, I put the oil on my heart, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, blessed King of kings and Lord of lords. For you said, Father God, at times the heart can be desperately wicked. But Father, we pray, God, as we enter in 20 and 21, that you create in us a clean heart, that you will renew a right spirit, Father God, within us, so that the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart, Father God, will be acceptable in thy sight. You said, so a man thinketh, Father God, so is he. So Father, we pray for 2021, that you will give us a clean heart, that you will consecrate our heart, that that you will purify our heart, that the blood of Jesus will disinfect our heart, Father God, from all evil, from all bitterness, from all resentfulness, Father God, from all unforgiveness, Father God, and all these negative parasites, Father God, that tries to bring enmity between us and you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Father God, for 2021, that your oil, your anointing oil, Father God, of protection will cover us father god from the crown of our head and to the soles of our feet father in the name of jesus my god and my king father god that you will protect us lord 
throughout 2021. Cause us to be attentive to your divine will, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, and cause us not to deviate, Father God, from the straight and narrow path, Father, in the name of Jesus. And if it's every day and every morning, Father God, that we have to anoint ourselves, I pray that you'll give us the desire to do it, Father, in the blessed name of Jesus, for we desire, Father God, to do thy will, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let all the negative practices, all the negativity of 2020 stay there in the past. Now let's not look back, but Father God, look forward, Almighty God, and look up because our redemption draws nigh. I thank you, Father God, for the revelation that you gave, Father God, regarding the oil. And I pray, Father God, that we will never take the anointing oil, Father God, for granted. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God bless you all. God bless you.